Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I'm working on my biggest canvas to date, uh, 48 by 54. Um, this is so big that I didn't feel really comfortable spinning it hard. Um, I couldn't attach it my normal way, and so this is pretty much just like a straight ribbon pour, but it's kind of a concept that I've had in my head for quite a while, pretty much since I bought these giant frames. Um, yeah, so I hope you like it. I think that it looks pretty cool, and I'm probably going to do a complimentary one of this as well, so. Uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun to do. It was a big challenge. Um, I made a new tray for it. You can see it right there. I actually burned my hand really badly using a hot glue gun. Um, got a giant blister. <sighs> Nobody needs to really know that. Anyways, so originally uh, for this particular part of the project, I was going to do straight black. But then um, I decided that straight black wasn't really going to cut it. I needed to put some white in there just to create some movement in uh, the black portion. And I came across this new, well, I don't know if it's a new technique, but I came across the technique on Instagram where this lady um, made some cells on a piece of board and then kind of manipulated the board around and tip the cells onto her canvas and in turn manipulated her cells. Um, I thought that was a really great idea and I decided to give it a whirl myself and it actually worked out really well. I think that um, this is going to be now in my bag of tricks of things to do. I mean before I, I did a swirl on a tray and that worked out really well so I don't know why I didn't think of doing this. Anyways. So this part um, on the right there, that's a real big departure for me uh, from my usual work. I mean, it's not usually that chaotic, but this whole idea that I had in my head, I really needed this one part to be like really messy and chaotic looking and uh, kind of almost like an explosion. Um, I did a little bit of uh, swiping, cleaning up, and starting over. Uh, I couldn't help myself, but overall, uh, the messiness was what I wanted, and I think I achieved that rather well. Um, so on to the ribbons. Uh, this was actually super nerve-wracking for me, because first of all, even though this is super sped up, um, making that little tray of paint took forever and my arm got tired. Um, but it was, I really wanted to make sure that I had enough paint to cover the whole width of the canvas. Um, I almost got it completely. I was uh, rather annoyed my, at myself that I didn't quite get it, but I was able to save it with my next ribbon. Um, I just kind of covered up the one side. And I filled in some holes too. I did a little bit of cheating with that ribbon. Um, so the whole concept is that the black is coming through and then it kind of like busts through the rainbow thing and it broke up the rainbow and the black got all messed up. Um, I don't know. I think that um, it actually turned out almost exactly what it looked like in my head, which is pretty unusual. I mean, usually I have these concepts in my head and then I do it on, uh, on the canvas and it looks completely different. But this time around, I think that I pretty much nailed it. So I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm still waiting for it to dry because there is a lot of paint on there. Um, I was uh, showing my this uh, finished product to my brother-in-law and I accidentally let my cat in and the cat got in the paint and there's paint. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and if you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.